Welcome back. A 51 year old cold case murder has been solved and here to talk about it is Rosalie Sands, the sister of the victim in that case. Good morning, Rosalie. Thank you so much for joining us. Good morning. Thank you for having me. So your sister, Mary Scott, was murdered in San Diego on November 20th, 1969. We're coming up on that anniversary. You were 16 years old at the time. Mary was in her early 20s and she was uh, brutally attacked and killed uh, in, in her home. Can can I, I just can't imagine the emotional roller coaster that you've been on since this news uh, came out uh, in the weekend. Can you tell us uh, what you heard, how you heard, what you were feeling? Well, I've worked um, closely with the district attorney's cold case investigator um, throughout the process leading up to the arrest. And um, it, I couldn't believe it was really going to happen until it did. It's been so many years and I didn't give up hope of finally getting some justice in this for my sister, um, and we finally did. Wow, so obviously the, the district attorney's office is sort of being mom on the details as of right now, which we can understand. We do know that apparently forensic genealogy was used yes. uh, with the suspect's DNA to track him in Pennsylvania. He is uh, 75 years old now, John mm -hmm. Sipos uh, is his name. He's on a, in Lehigh County Jail on a $3 million bond. Where, what happens next and how, how closely are you working with the DA's office in this? Well, they're doing all the work, but they keep me informed. And um, what happens next is they extradite him to San Diego and he has his hearing and his arraignment and then the trial. Um, but all that takes time. The extradition itself could take from three weeks to three months. So, um, the timeline's out there a ways, but I've waited 51 years. I can wait another year. Yeah, I mean, it's it's very humble of you to say they're doing all the work, but I can imagine that you, as a loving little sister, you've been following this and, and holding on to hope and finding justice <laughs> for your sister for 51 years. That says a lot about you, Rosalie. What have you been doing over the last 51 years to get to this point? Well... I just keep her memory alive and I miss her still. It's hard to believe after that many years, but it's just a piece of you that's gone. Um, in the 90s, they opened the cold case. Um, the San Diego Police Department opened it and did a lot of investigating and they uh, flew out to interview me. And at that point, they didn't have the genealogical DNA search available. And um, so they basically hit a dead end on all their leads and couldn't find anybody. Uh, the original suspects were all um, proven not to be the perpetrator. And so um, they kind of had to, they don't close the cases. I'm very sorry. That's okay. They don't close the cases, but they set them aside. And um, they said that until it's solved, it's never really closed. It just goes cold. And then Last year on the 50th anniversary of my sister's death, I um, reached out to a retired San Diego Police Department officer that's a friend of mine. And um, because I've been hearing so much about the genealogical um, methods they've been using to solve cold cases. And I asked him if he could get them to take another look at this case. And he contacted the correct people, and it ended up at the district attorney's office where they do the cold case investigations now. And um, they contacted me, and they stayed in touch along the way to let me know where, where they're at in it. You know, I, ass I assume that, that for you, this is a message to a lot of other victims. Over the years, I've talked to so many victim families that really find solace and support in other victims' families. And I know that for you, this must be a message of hope to other mm -hmm. families that are, that are in a similar situation and looking for justice for their loved one. It is Absolutely. Yes. And that's, that's the bright side of all of this is that I know there are a lot of people out there who've lost loved ones and maybe they think it's hopeless or have given up and technology keeps changing and they, they shouldn't give up. If, as long as there's a family looking, um, I know that the cold case people are happy to take the 
take a look at the case and see what they can find using the new methods. Well, Rosalie, thank you so much for for joining us and for giving that hope to to those families. I, I know this is a just an emotional time for you, and I'm just so thankful that you're able to share the story with us and hopefully find some some solace in this in this coming to an end. Thank you for having me. Absolutely. Take care. You too. Coming up next.